Welcome back to another episode of Freedom Finance with Lanny, guys. Thanks for being patient as I got this video out. But today is all about real estate investing, guys. And we're going to do a quick update on my passive real estate investing venture with Fundrise. I haven't done an update in a long time. And there are a lot of people, you know, including some other, you know, famous YouTubers exiting Fundrise, but I wanted to provide my Fundrise real estate investing update on how it's actually performed through, you know, six and a half months here in 2024. We'll compare it obviously to other indices on how they're performing. Um, we'll talk about, hey, the dollar amounts that I'm up to, what I plan on doing, and kind of what my portfolio is really composed of, guys. And of course, we're going to get into the passive income that I've generated this year, and we can even take a peek at how much I've earned, you know, life to date within the Fundrise Real Estate Fund, guys. So again, grab your favorite beverage, your beer, your liquor, your wine, your espresso, your coffee, because you're Italian this weekend, and let's dive into my Fundrise Real Estate Investing Update. Let's get it. All right, guys, filming this here. Obviously, tonight, this is pretty much going to be filming it and putting this right out to you guys out there in the community. Filming it here July 28th. So this is going to be a July 28th, 2024 Fundrise Real Estate Investing Update. And for those that don't know Fundrise, Fundrise is a platform that first started out, I don't know, seven to ten years ago. Um, really do bridge the gap between you know, investors like me, especially that we're not accredited, and to invest passively into real estate that's not a real estate investment trust that's publicly traded in the stock market. So it was a way to kind of differentiate and diversify your overall net worth, your portfolio, so that you're not directly tied to the equity market. And, you know, to date, I think they have over 385,000 investors as they tout on their About Me page. I'll throw it up here on the screen. And they manage over seven billion, I believe, of asset value. Um, and then investors have about three billion plus in equity on the platform. So again, they manage you know billions of dollars here in the investing market. Um, they started out doing you know real estate. Then they kind of bridged themselves into I think the innovation fund, more in the venture capital uh, industry. Recently, in the last two or three years. Um, I don't invest in the innovation side of things, um, so this will be strictly real estate investing on Fundrise's platform. So I've been investing with Fundrise for about five and a half years, dating back to when I was five years old in February of 2019. No, I'm kidding, guys. Um, but yeah, I've been investing since February of 19. I think I started out, my wife and I may have been doing 100 bucks a month, and then at one point we ratcheted that up I think in 2022, 2023, we were doing about $250 a month. We actually pulled back to about $200 a month um, simply because, hey, we've got other investing going on that it has that we felt like was going to be performing better than the Fundrise platform, which proved out so far to be true when we did that pullback and moved some of the $50 extra a month into dividend stocks and ETFs. Um, so my value, and I'll throw it again, I'm going to show you guys everything, it's about $34,000 here on the platform. So five and a half years have built that up that much over time. You know, you might be thinking how much of that was our dollars, just about, I don't know, I think it says, you know, 30000 was our contribution, even though I don't know if that includes dividends being re reinvested or not. I want to say it does, but, you know, somebody can correct me in the comments on that. Um, and it's broken down really in three categories, my portfolio. You know, we've got about 17,000 in private credit, as they call it, which is really like debt financing for the real estate deals. And then we have another larger portion in real estate, about 9,000, as they say. So that's actually equity in the real estate deals, and that provides usually a nice source of income. And then, you know, they show that the value of owning because we actually own fundrise the company itself um every year and they actually haven't done one at least as far as i'm aware this year but they traditionally have done uh, this internet public offering which allowed current investors on the platform to invest in fundrise the company itself 
Um, we've put in about eight thousand into that, but they say it's worth you know just between ten to eleven thousand dollars of value into Fundrise, the company itself. So in total, um, you know, I say it's about thirty-four thousand dollars in value. You know, so far this year though, like how has Fundrise performed, guys? So you know how much we have, you know how much we've been contributing, been doing two hundred dollars a month this year. So how has it been doing? You know. Per Fundrise, it's up about 4.2% so far this year. Obviously lagging behind the S&P 500, and I'll search it real quick. S&P 500 is up about 15% this year. So, but it's real estate, so you know you don't really expect it to outperform the S&P 500 during great years like the S&P 500 having thanks to tech. So, how's it? How's the REIT index doing? How is the REIT? index performing in 2024 so you can go on your search toolbar type in read type in read index performance or read index and you'll get a read index chart and the read index is actually down i believe about nine percent or over nine percent this year so they're down over nine percent but yet fundrise is up 4.2 percent this year so i think fundrise is you know not aligned with the equity market it's doing better um, as they typically do versus the uh, the REIT index. So you got to love that. So it's been performing better, probably performing better than a lot of the realty income investors out there over the last you know 12 to 24 months. <laughs> I, I own O, so I can say that. I have a right, damn it. Um, but it's, it's definitely crushing the REIT index so far this year. You know, net, you could call it 13 you know, plus percent. Um, from a net, you know, because they're net positive for and the read index is down, you know, closer to 10% so far this year. Um, dividends this year through, I think through today, I, again, let me, I quickly look back at the chart. You know, I think I've earned about seven, yeah, $742 in dividends so far this year. So averaging just over $300 a quarter. Um, I think by the end of the year, we'll definitely be over $1,200 in dividends this year, but probably closer to the $1,400 dividend mark. And what do I do with the dividends? I reinvest it back into Fundrise, pour it right back, give me some more ownership on Fundrise before I flip the switch to instead of reinvestment to pay me so that my family and I could also use these dividends and distributions to pay for our everyday living expenses. That's, that's ultimately the goal. So I wanted to tell you guys also like kind of, okay, lifetime to date, what's the dividends? About 2,900, almost 2,900 in gross dividends earned, you know, life to date, I guess LTD is, I don't know if that's usually a quoted uh, term, but we're using it here on the channel because we can do what we want, right guys? Um, so yeah, I mean, not too bad, right? I mean, definitely earning a lot from dividends, still have some nice appreciation, um, though, 2023 was definitely the tough market for Fundrise. You know, ultimately it was down in 2023 and they were pretty soft in 2022. Uh, but again, having a better year. I'm glad I've stuck it out with Fundrise. I'm curious, do you guys invest with them? Um, I think there is a link below in case you are interested um, in signing up. But yeah, I'm curious if you guys are investing with Fundrise and if so, do you invest regularly? Do you just do one-time contributions? Or did you used to invest and then you stopped? And if you stopped, did you keep the funds there or did you actually end up doing the withdrawal? Um, please leave that in the comments, guys. Um, so what do I plan on doing with Fundrise? Well, I'm gonna keep investing the $200 a month into the real estate platform, into Fundrise, just to continue to build it. I would love to just top myself out at at least $50,000 quite a few years to go from that standpoint. You know, there were years in the past where if we had any extra funds, we were putting it into Fundrise, um, but we haven't really done that so far in 2024 with saving for a house, obviously having a toddler, obviously buying the Vanguard ETF strategy every single day and every single week. Um, just, you know, a lot more expenses this year um, than we usually do have as well. So um, sticking just with $200 a month if we can, you know, if I end up making any changes there, I'll definitely let you guys know. So there we have it. Again, almost $34,000 in value. You know, just over $741 in dividends year to date, almost 28, 2900 in dividends life to date, up over 4% year to date, 
outperforming the REIT index by about 13 plus percent net to net. So again, can't complain right now about how Fundrise is doing. Could I have been better allocating my money to just the S&P 500? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, but again, this is a nice, not to call it an experiment at this point, because it's $34,000, um, but it's been a nice little piece to the portfolio. You know, kind of curious if I can start to transition more of everything into just the income fund as I near the time period to turn off the drip. Um, but let me know, guys, if you guys are obviously invested into Fundrise and what you do with your dividends. You know, I appreciate the stop. Wanted to get some content out there for you guys, a little investment update. So hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.